Okay, so I've had a lot of people ask about the Darchi tent that I've got on top of the Prado. There's not much on the internet about setting them up or packing them up or anything like that. So I thought I'd do a demonstration video. Now, it might be a bit windy on the microphone, I hope not. But the race course have let us set up here, so we're going to do a little bit of a run through. It's on the top of a 2018 Prado and I'm six foot two. And as you can see, that's up high. So if you're a short person, you'll find it tricky to set one of these up. And it's the High View 2200. That means it's 2200 long from tip to tail to tip. Um, designed to sleep four people, so it says. So these aren't too bad to set up. They're actually really quick. And it's drizzling a little bit now, but that's okay. So we'll go through the setup. A few things I've found just in the short time that I've had it. And also we'll go through the pack up as well. So to start off with the unpacking, there's four Velcro straps along here. And I actually find them a little bit of a pig to undo. I don't like them at all. It'd be much better if they had a nice plastic strap or something a bit more easy. That might not fit anyway. So then you just flick those. Now when you're flicking these back, they've got metal buckles on them. Can you see that? They've got metal buckles on them. And the metal buckles are very heavily whacking to the other side of your car. So I'm going to go around the other side if you come with me. Around. You got me? Yep. All right. And so I just feed them back, let them hang. Because if you just let these peel over, they'll ping straight into the side of your car. So just carefully feed those over. Now, without the awning up, we lock these in through the door of the car. Just open the door and whack them in. But we were out in heavy rain the other night and these things through the door of the car were actually tracking water into the vehicle. So you have to find a better way to store them if you're in rain and not let them ping all over the side of your car. So that's basically the vinyl cover undone. Now if you come around here, you see you've got a little orange tag right here. And that covers up the zip, so just a bit of Velcro under that. And then you simply go along like so. It's a bit tight around the corners. So you go all the way around. Makes it a bit easier if you just fold that lip up. And I have to go right over to the other side now. But before I do, I do this every time, just pick this up. Because you're going to have to come back if you don't. If you're doing this on your own, which I tend to, just pick those corners up and you'll see why in a second. Come this way. So now you just finish bringing the zip to the corner. Now if you're not going to take the bag off, if you see it clips in there, don't undo it all the way. You can if you want. It's not too hard, but it just undoes like so. And now the reason I said to undo those corners is I can just do that. If I hadn't undone those corners, I'd now be going back to unhook those corners so I can pull the bag out. So it's as simple as that. Now, the thing that annoys me a little bit with this is this slides out really easy, but it's dirty. As you can see, wet car, dirty marks. There's no bag to put this in. So if I take this off the vehicle, I've got to wrap it up somehow and put it somewhere. There's no bag, which means I'm putting a dirty, dusty, horrible bag or cover in my car. I'm going to leave that on for today. You can see these handles. There's two of them. One here. There's one on the other end as well. My two ladders are up there. But before I go any further, I have to go through now. There's four Velcro straps, two front and rear. So I'll do under them. Like so, and I've just got to do the two at the back as well. And 
and that's basically all I need to undo it. But now, as you can see, to flip it over, if you're short, that's a problem. So even for me, who's six foot two, I find this bit a little bit tricky. So there's two ladders on this thing, and I always leave this ladder to be the one that I use. So I unclip it. Pass me the camera. So. Up the top here you can see the ladders and they're clipped in and held in by this cable here. So I've just unclipped this ladder here, taken those out of the way and they hold it in place and you can see the other ladder over there is still held solid in place and they're locked in by this strap. Now you're going to need to undo this strap. Put the camera down because I'm struggling to do that with one hand. Right, so that's done. And here, here's the second of those straps, so I'm just going to throw it over there. And you'll see why in a second. I'll give the camera back to my son. There you go. Thanks. That's all right. And we'll open it up. Now, it's really easy from here. I've just got to get up and get myself a ladder. Oh, but if you're short, not so easy. Where the ladder's good and the handle. Can you see both of these? Yep. Alright, so now I use the ladder to bring it right over, grab my handle, and I can keep it coming out. My ladder's locked into place as well, so I can gently lower it down. So now you can see this ladder here still clipped into place. Uh, clip it, bring it out to full extension, and as you can see, it's done on a bit of an angle. Now the ladders are there to support the bed, so too much of an angle. So the top ones here, just bring them up until they lock into place. That's one. That's two. And the ladders are in place. And if we have a look to see if we've got it to the level. Sort of is. It's not too bad. Flatten it out a little more. Around there. Now, something I found the other night, which I don't know if I'm doing now, if I push here, that's the floor locking into place. And I don't know if it's meant to do that or whether it should, but if I don't, there's a definite drop under the mattress where you're sleeping. And it's very uncomfortable. So, now we just pull these out, pull our flies. You can just tighten your flies up with these straps so they don't get too much in the way. Come around here, mate. Pull the flies over. Now, in essence, that's set up, but we'll come in under the ladder. So you need to come in, mate. And in under the ladder, you've got these adjustable adjustable arms to lock that out, and you do that on both sides. So I'm just pulling it so that it's sitting nicely in place. Did you get that? All right. Now I'm not going to tie these down, but you do need to. Because that holds everything nice and locked. Now we were in a place the other night where it was rock, couldn't get the pegs in, bent them all actually. And we ended up just tying around some rocks, which was fine. Now the other thing that we've found is they only give you two pegs. With this, there's two pegs only. One here, one there. That's it. So if you're going, where's all my stuff? You get two pegs. If you bought the annex, which we have, you get another four pegs, and that's for the base of the annex itself. Two here, one on each corner of the annex base. That's it, so six pegs in total. All right, so let's go. That's set up. Let's go up inside and we'll have a look. All right, so now they're in. In the kit that comes with it, there's these bungee cords or hockey straps or octopus straps, whatever you want to call them. And for those who are wondering where they go, they literally go from side to side. Can you see this? 
Hold steady two hands. They literally just hook onto the eyelets here, here, and here, from side to side, and they're designed, supposedly, to make it easier to pack up. Whether that's the case or not, I don't know, but I use them. Now, the beauty of the high view, I'll open it up a bit so we've got some light, is it also has up here, which you can unzip all of those, but, not with the fly on. So if you've got the fly on, might just take that off. Open that up. Do the light. Open that light. All right. So you can't do too much now. Shoes on. So before we set this up, the other night I first set this up and I just ripped this up and I found these holes which is fine, but there's actually a hole, hole there. So you can actually just put it straight in through there and not interfere with the canvas. So I'll just do one because you need to do this on both ends. One like so, like so, it sort of goes out on an angle, slot it into place it up like so. It feels like you're going to bend it, but can you just hook it into an eyelet? It's one. Same again. It's got to go in on an angle. As you can see, they're going out at about, oh, not quite 45 degrees. Bend them up nicely. Feed it through. And that's your storm flap. Come back up. So we pack everything up in our annex. I'm not going to, or in our tent, I'm not going to do the other side because it's a mirror image of this. We leave these pegs in the bag just on the mattress when we pack up. And they come with this as well. So this here is an extender pole for your door protector. With just C-clips on there. And then it comes up through here, uh, well it should, and clips over this. It's a bit tight to get over this, but it's on. And then when you come back out here, you can just extend it. I've got that around the wrong way, that should be down. But anyway, I'm not leaving it up for now. So then you can put a bit of tension on there and it just keeps this tight. And when you've got your strings down below as well, it firms all this up and keeps it nice and solid. So, when you're in here, there's heaps of space, family of four. We've got these nice little pockets so you can stick things in either side. So there's some. So, they're either side. You've got this mesh here, which is the... It's the microweave mesh, so it's designed to keep out midges and everything as well. And you can sort of stick it to about there, keep a bit of airflow going through overnight. And you get there's a beautiful breeze coming through here at the moment, and I've only got the doors open and this open, so it's all breathing well. Plenty of little lock tags. We run an LED light through here and run it down the back. There's a big gap here, so there's a big flap here that's not a pocket. And that's designed to cover the hole you've got down there. So they've got all this microweave, midgy stuff. And then they've got a gaping hole around the hinge, which is covered up with a little bit of material. And there's some on the outside as well, which Velcro's down. So you do that both sides. So, as you can see, there's a ton of room up here. Me laying here, my wife, the kids, we can all fit up here. It's, I wouldn't say it's massively comfortable. But we do fit, we get a good night's sleep, and keeps us dry-ish. And you can do the same out here. There's, so there's four holes in here, so two for here, two for here. And with the fly off, you can open this up as well. So you can have a view the whole way through, and it, it's really quite breezy and nice and good. The mattress is only... So, 
So they stay here and that's all good. Now, I think that's all. We keep these rolled up, even for the pack up. Just roll them down as we need them. It doesn't get in the way. So I'm going to now put this up. I can hear a man coming. He probably hasn't been given the memo that we're okay to stay here. So now we'll do the pack up and you'll see that that doesn't really take that long at all. So to start off with, before I get out, I'm going to pull this down and this down and just sit it here. Now if you ask Darchi, can I leave my dinners and sleeping bags up here, they'll say no. So we packed this out the other night with two kids sleeping bags folded in half and a doona folded in half here and I packed them as neatly as I could folded everything up, got the lid down, got the cover on so you can leave your bedding in, I wouldn't leave pillows in, I don't think it would work but everything else you can, so don't forget we're about to do the pack down, I'll put my hookies my little hockey straps back up got to reach out here, just be a little bit careful you don't want to skewer these through your canvas when you've spent a lot of money. These do come with a little plastic grommet that goes on the end, but they fall off in the first three seconds of using them. And they're about as handy as an ashtray on a motorbike, really. So, get that there, that's good. That's where we leave that. Mattress will fold over. There is, underneath here, which is also a little bit useless, some Velcro and a velcro strap on each corner of the mattress but it doesn't really line up with anything so you could spend a bit of time I suppose but anyway all right let's get out and we'll fold this door in right, so now it's just the same we just loosen those off and pull them in do the same on the other side it's huh? it's spitty that's right I'm getting water on the camera Awesome. So the pack up, oh, I'm putting my shoes on. The pack up doesn't take too much, but I've worked out a little bit of a procedure which does make it easier. So it's pretty good to come and whip a snip right now. Anyway, so firstly, Constantine of the ladder, get you bring this up and we lock it. Throwing this over the top, locking it into place, and I'm going to lock this into place, but I'll have to undo it again in a minute. Dude. So the pack up is just the reverse. And it'd be good if I made it just off the flip slipper, but anyway. So we've packed up one ladder and we're just letting it hang, not pulling as tight just yet. And to pack up we simply grab our ladder and push. There we go. Like so. Now that's not packed up clearly, so I'll come around to this side. And yes, you can see I'm packing it up wet, but I'll, I'll fix that later. So now, just got to bring it down, make sure everything's tucked in. And you can see with the pack up here, it's got these nice little flaps to pull everything in, so that'll be good. But now, this is the bit where I've got to fix that other ladder up. So if you pass me the thing. So, I've now got a concertina of this ladder all the way in. And lock it in place. And now tie it to the roof with my straps and tighten it off. Everything's getting wet, as you can see. That's all right, I'll set it up again later. I actually wanted to get wet to season the canvas a little bit. All right, take that again. 
Bir park edeyim. And as you can see, that'll pull up nicely. Come on the side, mate. So I don't know if those hockey straps really make too much difference, but they're a good thought. So now. I really want to pull this down as much as I can. It's going to make it easy to put that bag on. I'll come around and do the other side as well. Got these here. There's no instructions to tell me otherwise, but I assume start a wrap around there to protect the bag. I'll put the bag on. So I try to tuck it in. So, and then just pull the straps down. You're probably all screaming going, you're not locking it in the proper way, you're only using the Velcro. And you're right, because I don't like these clips. And the case does the rest once it's on, and you've got straps going over the top as well. So, yeah, that's on. That's there. And I'll do the front as well, the back, I mean. Just the same thing, tucking everything in. And now, with that done, it's time to put the cover back on. Once again, checking that we've got little corner protectors. And all those up out of the way. Now this is a bit to get to be tricky if you're on your own. <laughs> so as you can see, I've said a few times now, if you're short, and this is on a tall vehicle, the Prado kind of is, you might struggle. Tight, so I'm going to go around the other side and just check things. Alright, that'll do the job. Now I'll pull it tight on the other side. Now we come back here to this zip. We're going flat out because the camera's going flat. my things up in there, find my tag, sometimes things you said and done. <laughs> I know this is a bit rushed, but I'm getting wet. It's easier, as I said, to fold that up as you go around the corner. And just make sure, if you come over here, mate, make sure that you fold this up as you go along, just to keep everything Keep coming around, mate. Now 
Now fold those lips back down. And it really comes down to now putting those straps back on and making sure they're not twisted. And if you pull it down nice and tight here like I did a minute ago, and from the back, it's going all right. So I'll come back and tie that properly in a second. I'll just pull it down really tight to start off with so that I've got enough purchase on the next one. And that, I'm puffing. But as you see, I did it all that myself. It is a bit tough if you're short. But that wasn't too hard to set up or pack up. And that's done. So I hope that was helpful. Feel free to fire some questions if you need to. Cheers.